Backstage. This is, would be the Arizona Memorial uh, Coliseum. Backstage with uh, two fifths of uh, Pearl Jam. Right here, we got Stone to my right. Hi. To my far right over there, we have uh, Jeff. How you guys doing? Quite well. Quite well. Good. <laughs> anyway, we're here in uh, in Phoenix. You guys started the tour in uh, in, in Maui back yeah. in February 20th. Right. Bad bad spot, eh? Maui. It's not bad to go to Maui it's and not play. Not bad at all. Yeah. Why Maui? Because uh, we were going to Australia, and uh, we knew we probably should do some warm-ups, and um, we figured, well, we could go halfway and get somewhat acclimated to the time zone and play a show and hang out. The writing process, I'm holding up my hand, uh, Yield, right here, the latest. Uh, what's the writing process like for you guys? Uh, uh, well, like, these days? Do you, do you collaborate? Is it, like a, is it you and Eddie uh, these days? How is it? Yeah. Everyone writes. Uh, everyone, actually, everyone's kind of been doing more demoing kind of on their own these days, kind of bringing songs in. I think this one is, this record in particular is probably the majority of it was songs written before kind of getting to the studio. Um, so everyone kind of does their own demos, and then when we kind of get together to kind of make a record, we basically go through and listen. But we've done it all sorts of ways. We, we jam and write songs that way lots. We've done that a lot in the studio. Yeah. Um, I just think lately we've kind of gotten into more uh, individually kind of writing songs and then kind of everyone playing on them, you know. <laughs> decide what, what goes on because there must be like a lot of leftovers that get uh you do yeah you're the veto no, no, man no, no, you just oh, raise your hand oh you yeah. just raise your hand okay yeah, or <laughs> like whatever yeah it's just kind of like whoever you know i mean as you hear demos you get excited about other people's you want to be excited about theirs you want them to be excited about yours and it's all sort of a you never know what's gonna what's gonna end up on the record but it always ends up being you know something good always happens you know it's it's the, the process is usually over a long period of time and um even if you're not maybe writing right off the bat, like something will happen at the end or, you know, like, you know, everyone kind of looks out for each other and kind of makes sure they take part in the record. As I was getting at earlier, like there's, there's got to be like a lot of stuff that you don't use right away. Does that stuff get like thro thrown out or do you, you don't really forget uh, about it? Does it get recycled yeah, at like, some point? Yeah, like, Brain and Jay, we recorded for the last record and ended up recording again and liking it for this record. So, you know, there's definitely songs, but it's not a lot of songs. You know, we usually there's four or five extra songs that we record for a record usually end up being, you know, B-sides for that, you know, for that, that release. You find that uh, the side projects, yours being Brad, and uh, sorry, I didn't mean to touch your flip flop. Please don't there. touch me. <laughs> this, this effects or changes uh, once you get back with Pearl Jam. Is, is something happened there? Like probably, probably a little bit. I think I think to some degree, like allowing yourself to be involved in those kinds of, you know, with other people. I, I think when you get back to the band, you're a little bit more relaxed about it. And for me, it it put less pressure on me to be a part of this band and you know I I think it proved to myself that I could do other things and work with other people and have almost as much fun um he's replacing Jack Irons is well at this, just, at this point it's it? Jack, Jack couldn't do the tour because he because of his health and Matt said he would do Matt, the tour yeah his name was the first name we asked him and he was psyched about it and we're psyched and we're having a great time and we don't know what's going to happen in the future. How 
how serious is the is uh, Jack's <laughs> yeah the love fair yeah we can go there and uh, Jack's health. I don't know. We're gonna see him in Sacramento, so you know, we'll, we'll find out then. I, I mean, I think he's in a pretty good space right now. I think, I mean, touring's pretty hard, and I think, I think, I mean, he's got two kids and family that he's trying to raise, and you know, we spent six weeks in Australia and Hawaii and stuff, and so. Takes a lot out of you. So it's to the road. It's definitely tougher on Jack. I think he's a lot happier being at home right now. <laughs> coming up in Seattle. Just heard about that, your hometown. What's what's all that about? Uh, well, we usually we tend to, it's been a kind of a thing the last few years where we've kind of given the money away from our home shows. And I think it started out as more of a Ticketmaster thing because they wouldn't let us in the arena unless we gave the money away. Otherwise, it had to be a Ticketmaster thing. It was some kind of, uh, but we decided that uh, that seemed like a pretty good tradition. So um, I think we're donating about uh, somewhere around half a million dollars to about seven, uh, six or seven uh, different charities, maybe more. Ten. I think, I think about ten, isn't it? Ten, ten charities in Seattle. Ten. ten no. Oh, that's very good. For and you. Uh, there's three or four that I'm kind of involved with, and I know there's two or three that Jeff's kind of worked with, and a few that Kelly's worked with. So we kind of all have our kind of favorite kind of groups that we have been involved with, and we're giving it away. Oh, let's talk about the upcoming home video. That sounds pretty cool. All right. Since you're not making videos anymore, let's yeah. talk about this home video. Yeah. <laughs> What's all that about? When's that coming out? When can fans expect it? I don't know when it's coming out. Do you know? A late maybe August? Yeah, it was August? supposed to come out like the first part of August, but I, I, I don't know. It's right basically, uh, we've uh, just kind of filmed us rehearsing for this tour, like, I don't know, three or four days of rehearsal. and. It's just kind of us rehearsing. Just rehearsing. Just rehearsing and a little interview, a few little interview things. It's actually really pretty beautifully shot. Um, mm. This guy, uh, um, ooh, Cameron Crow. Well, not Mark Cam Pellington. Crow. Mark Pellington. Uh, Mark Pellington, who's the guy that directed the Jeremy video, was the guy that was involved in it. Pretty cool. It's like for fans, you know, if you're into the band and kind of want to see what it's like to, you know, kind of get together and rehearse, and you can hear the songs kind of in a different sort of way. Might check it out. Yeah, because I guess the fans, the only chance they get to see that is if they go to your shows. Yeah. Just live footage, stuff like that. Because, you know, the video thing with you guys is like a, a no-go. Now, w was there a turning point somewhere along the lines where uh, you guys just said, you know, something's going on, we're going to stop making the videos? What, what, there, was what, no, there was no time when we said, you know what, we're never making video again. We just, we made the second record and it came out and it was doing really well and we were touring and we were like, well, we don't really have to make a video, and so we just didn't, and then we didn't end up making one for that record. Then the next one came around, and that record kind of did well, and we were kind of doing our thing, and it was like... Uh, and, there, and there's a little bit of a philosophy behind that, too. I mean, there, I mean, I, I, it isn't that much fun to make videos, and when you start to kind of really think about how people perceive you when, they, when all they're seeing is videos, it's, it's kind of a weird thing, too, you know? Sure. When you think of, like, a song, and if all you think of is the video, it's, it's, it's a little bit weird with that, too, so... And we were having conversations like that at the time, sure. you know, about that sort of stuff, so... It's more, it's, this other stuff's more fun to do than yeah. that stuff, so... Oh, for sure it is. I don't, I don't think anyone has a problem with videos, like, there's cool videos, for sure. Yeah. We all, you know, enjoy seeing a music and film together, and that's yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Uh, just for us, it was, it was nice not to do them. Um, um, and, you know, we may do one again someday, so...
you guys like much music a lot, right? Sure. So you, you wouldn't mind just making one just like specific, specifically for us? Or? Sure. Okay, thank you we'll very much. Let's do that. <laughs> you guys want to make it? Why don't you make it? You got the camera right yeah, there. You got 10 minutes? Yeah, <laughs> you got one camera. It's really raw, much music, kind of punk rock. Well, you guys have fun out there. Okay. It was really good talking to you. Let's go to a video. Which one should we go? There's only three. Or is there four? What's our choices? Uh, well, Oceans? Alive. Oh, is there? We don't have a video uh, for that. Oh, you now, gotta right? get that. You guys didn't get that? Yeah, we didn't, you one. didn't send that up to us. Who, who's in charge here? Uh, Lisa Markowitz can get it for you. What kind of tube operation are you guys running here? Lisa Markowitz no. can get it for you. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's go to, you know, let's go to anyone. How about Alive? That's a good one, the first one. Let's oh, uh, check it out right here. Thanks, guys. Have fun tonight.